everyone. Good evening to all of you. I'm Sayukta from Beautiful Spotless Skin Team. And I'm sure all of you must be keeping good health. Hair loss, whether it is hair loss in men or hair loss in women, is a very common biological problem all over the world, not just in India. The importance of hair in enhancing the overall personality of a human being cannot be underestimated. Hair is the first thing that people normally notice is about you. A great hairstyle can give you the personality boost you require in doing well in both personal and professional tracks. Hair loss, on the other hand, can actually prove to be a real disadvantage for many people. Many young boys and girls start losing their hair early in life. Caused by a variety of genetic, environmental, systemic factors, hair fall can actually affect everyone regardless of their country of origin. Thankfully, effective hair treatment can control and even reverse the hair loss process. We are here to know more about hair loss and how can we prevent and possible treatment options. So let's connect today with our expert, Dr. Meghna Gupta. She is consultant dermatologist and cosmetologist based at Ghaziabad. Dr. Meghna Gupta has done her MBBS followed by MGDBL from Maulana Azad Medical College, Delhi and followed by DNP in Dermatology, MRCP SCE from United Kingdom. She is one of the leading dermatologists whose first motto is patient's satisfaction. You can get complete skin, hair, nail, laser, various aesthetic treatments at her clinic, MG Skin Rejuvenance. Welcome Dr. Meghna Gupta, it's such a pleasure to have you with us. Um, Thank you so much for inviting me in this uh, session on hair loss. I think hair loss is the most common problem which is currently seen in dermatology. Uh, so let's start our session today. Yes, doctor. And first of all, we would like to uh, understand why hair loss occur because we all know in routine, we do see hair fall, hair loss, but why it occur, doctor? See, uh, hair loss can be divided into two types. It can be shedding of the hair or it can be thinning of the hair. First, we need to find out what kind of hair loss we are suffering from. Is it shedding or is, is it hair thinning? The shedding of the hair can be divided into two types. It can be acute uh, shedding of the hair or it can be chronic shedding of the hair. Okay. Uh, the shedding can be, uh, if it is uh, lasting less than six months, it is called acute shedding of the hair. Or if it is lasting more than six months, it is called chronic shedding of the hair. Okay. See, uh, uh, acute shedding of the hair can be due to many reasons. Uh, it can be due to deficiency of various nutritional uh, uh, factors like iron deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency, vitamin D deficiency, protein deficiency. It can be due to sudden stress factors like any sort of stress, like physical stress, mental stress, psychological, uh, mental or psychological stress, or any sort of surgical stress. Okay, they, it can contribute to a, it can be a trigger for your hair fall. Three months after the trigger, you can see sudden shedding of the hair. You can uh, get more than 100 of hair, uh, you can lose more than 100 of the hair. Okay, uh, any sort of fever, high grade fever, uh, dengue, malaria, uh, that is also a trigger which can lead to hair fall. Apart from this post-pregnancy also, because during uh, uh, pregnancy, we get lots of stress in form of uh, mental stress uh, or surgical stress. That can also lead to a hair fall. Three months after the hair fall, we normally say uh, uh, when your baby starts showing te uh, teething, the hair uh, fall starts coming. So that basically uh, correlates with the three months time period when you actually st uh, start seeing your hair fall. Okay, this is called postpartum telogen gravidarum. Okay, post gravidarum telogen effluvium. Okay, so this can be a cause. Many chemotherapeutic drugs like anti cancer uh, chemotherapy can lead to hair fall. And this uh, cancer related or chemotherapy related hair fall is seen two to four weeks after the uh, starting of chemotherapy. Apart from this, there are many other drugs like blood thinners, like warfarin, uh, anti acne medication like isoretinoin, anti seizure medications, anti thyroid medications. This can can also lead to hair fall. Apart from this thyroid uh, uh, related disorder, hypothyroidism itself can lead to hair fall. So there are multiple factors which can lead to shedding of the hair. Now coming to um, uh, thinning of the hair, thinning of the hair is called patterned hair loss. You can see males are losing hair from the temporal region or females normally see widening of the uh, central parting. This is called uh, patterned hair loss. Okay, this is mainly due to genetics. 
okay we don't have any uh, other cause uh, like any other uh, preventable cause which we can uh, treat it uh, to um, to control this pattern hair loss right as you just mentioned that there are some uh, hair loss which are genetic and which are not preventable but i'm sure there are other patterns of hair loss as well other types of hair loss as you mentioned there are so many causes responsible for hair loss um are there any way to uh, prevent hair loss we always say prevention is better than care uh, cure so any way to prevent hair loss from the other factors yeah uh, see uh, the pattern hair loss which we are discussing uh, that is a genetic thing okay but we can prevent it like the way that if you are seeing uh, slight uh, temporal recession or your uh, uh, central parting is getting wide okay this is the time you need to start the treatment you should not postpone or delay your treatment because if you do not uh, stop it it will definitely continue to progress and will lead to uh, more balding and that would be difficult to treat by many other means and you have to get some surgical methods like hair transplantation done or sometimes it's really uh, untreatable okay so pattern hair loss you need to start a treatment early apart from this telogen effluvium if there is some uh, stress kind of thing you cannot prevent it but yes you can find out other causes which is contributing to your hair loss if you are uh, Uh, starving you are uh, dieting okay so you need to take care ki you have to uh, uh, take proper meals you you don't have to properly cut down your proteins or cut down your fats you have to uh, make sure that you are taking proper vitamin d vitamin b12 supplementation okay uh, females um, uh, every month they are uh, menstruating and they are losing uh, so much blood uh, in our country in india one third of the females are affected with anemia so people don't know that the cause for their hair fall is iron deficiency so we need to see and we need to uh, supplement our diet properly so that we do not get these kind of uh, hair losses right a healthy lifestyle a healthy balanced diet is uh, really important and we often say you know what we eat or what we consume is what is reflected through our skin through our scalp through our hair so they are in a way our health indicators so it's important to understand our body understand the body's needs the hair needs as well so diet do plays a very important role now doctor what happens when we see hair loss uh first of all we will go for some home remedies you know that's the first thing that comes to us we'll start you know oiling uh, our uh, uh, scalp with n number of uh, uh, concoctions and etc or will you know start applying something dadi ka nuska nani ka nuska then uh, we'll go to some uh, over the counter uh, products that's also very much in trend and uh, the market these days are flooded with products So, what's your take on these? Do they work, or we actually need to go and consult a dermat at the very first place? Uh, I think we should first uh, see uh, if uh, the hair fall is physiological or pathological. If it is more than hundred hair per day, uh, then you should definitely consult your dermatologist. you should see your hair specialist okay uh, because if uh, you must be spending lots of money and you if you don't know the cause for your hair loss uh, you will be deviated from the uh, correct treatment okay and right. you will be spending lots of money on it uh, hey coming to the home remedies see uh, home ready remedies can work to a uh, to some extent only they are not curative uh, pro- completely okay so uh, oiling can help you basically oiling basically leads to conditioning of the hair okay changing shampoo applying conditioners will not lead to uh, basically uh, treatment of the hair loss okay so i will definitely recommend my patients to go to a dermatologist and see the cause for your uh and to lo- uh, look for the cause for the hair fall and then get the treatment over the counter products will not help you you most of the patients are taking biotin gummies they are taking biotin tab- tablets but you will surprise to know that biotin deficiency is very rare in india okay and right. these biotin supplements are not helping much in decreasing the hair fall okay so it's important to know the cause then you have to treat the cause if it is a genetically uh, if it is a pattern hair loss only uh, if it is a pattern hair loss then you should start medicines and that would be prescribed by dermatologist only you can start minoxidil lotion by your own but people uh, just apply it for one or two months okay but that 
is not sufficient. You need to apply it for more than six months to see the results. Okay, so correct advice, correct treatment, correct cause, all these things are required for the perfect hair growth and to stop the hair fall. Right. And uh, doctor, what about the treatment? What treatment options do we have when a person comes to you with, uh, you know, uh, hair loss or thinning of hair? What's the way to go for it? Uh, see, first we diagnose the condition. We sometimes get some tests done. Okay, we can get a hair pull test to see how much hair person is losing. If it is losing more than... Uh, Three, uh, three more than uh, five percent of the total hair uh, okay which is coming in our head more if we are plucking the hair uh, six hair are coming in our hand that means that uh, person is having telogen effluvium and if we can examine the uh, scalp also to see if there is frontal recession or it is the basically uh, widening of the central parting to know what is the cause of hair fall apart from the dermoscopy sometimes help that is basically a microscope mic microscopic microscopic vision basically of the scalp to see uh, uh, what kind of hair loss you are suffering from apart from this we we get uh, we counsel our patients to take a proper diet okay that i told you getting some investigations and like serum ferritin vitamin b12 vitamin d helps to know what is the cause for hair fall and after that we basically start the patient uh, counsel the patient to take a proper diet a high protein diet okay apart from that there are some hair uh, growth stimulating serums as i told minoxidil lotions and serums are available uh, there is uh, growth stimulating factors like capixil redensil okay these uh, these molecules are present in the hair growth serums which can help you to get proper growth of hair okay apart from this there are some oral tablets also which i'll not be mentioning in this talk because right. that uh, should be taken only after consultation with a dermatologist okay right. uh, and there are some surgical treatments also trp uh, treatment platelet rich plasma therapy basically it is an mm -hmm. elixir of growth factor that, that is injected or uh, applied on the scalp along with derma derma roller or micro needling that basically improves the blood circulation increases the growth factors within the scalp which stimulates the hair follicles to promote hair growth okay apart from that there is hair transplantation which is the last resort which can be done in uh, in certain types of uh, hair loss uh, we normally uh, grade the hair loss by hamilton uh, norwood classification so grade mm -hmm. 3 to grade 6 are the uh, people in which we normally do hair transplantation there are uh, multiple uh, multi modality treatment it's uh, hair fall is a multi modality treatment there are lots of uh, options available uh, and that we customize according to the need of the patient Fair enough. Doctor, we see a lot of people going for hair treatments these days, you know, um, uh, coloring, straightening, uh, curling, etc, etc, which includes a lot of chemicals on your hair. Now we know that hair shafts are like they are dead. So uh, in a way, people say that, you know, my hair shafts are dead, so I can apply whatever I want to. It won't, uh, you know, uh, interfere with my hair growth or my hair roots, etc. What's the reality? What's the fact, and how okay it is to go for chemicals, to go for coloring, to go for rebounding, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, in some part, it is correct. Also, uh, basically, you can get a straightening or a smoothing done. Basically, it uh, it the chemicals are applied on the dead part only. Uh, mm -hmm. Make sure that the roots are spared, and then the chemical is applied or whatever smoothing agent is applied. You can get it once or twice uh, uh, done, but not every year you should get it done because it will lead to more frizziness of the hair and damage your hair shaft also. Mm -hmm. So, and you have to always get a patch test done before getting any uh, hair straightening treatment done. Get it tested be uh, behind your ear or your forearm. And after 48 to 96 hours, see if there is any redness, itching, any uh, papules, any sort of uh, irritation. If you see any sort of irritation, you should never get it done because that means you are allergic to that product. Okay. Otherwise, I think it is fine to get it done. All right. Uh, we have a viewer with us, Purvi Mehra. Her question is, what could be the potential cause of my hair fall at the age of 25? And we do see a lot of uh, people, youth, you know, young adults coming and saying that I'm experiencing a lot of hair loss. What could be the probable reason? 
uh, uh, okay uh, see we need to see what kind of uh, i need to see her pictures before okay to see what kind of hair loss she is suffering from i need to ask her some questions if is she shed, is she shedding hair from the uh, roots of the hair okay if she is uh, losing more than 100 hair that means telogen effluvium and for how many months she is suffering that problem for and we need to find out the cause has she got any uh, sort of fever any sort of stress three months before the hair loss she is suffering from okay that means she is uh, having telogen effluvium how, how is her diet is she dieting or not how much weight loss she had uh, done in the past six months that all are the factors that are all are the questions which we need to ask then we have to see what is the cause for her she can get herself investigated she can get her serum ferritin vitamin b12 vitamin d and tsh levels done we can make some sort of figure we can some sort of figure out okay how what is the call if she can get these tests right that's why yeah. i'm saying that it is important to consult a dermatologist uh, hair loss is not a thing which can be easily tackled by beauticians or a makeup artist or a homeopath doctor it is a thing which has to be tackled by a uh, practicing matlab by a experienced dermatologist which has a, which or a qualified dermatologist we can say I completely agree with you, and we have one more uh, viewer with us, Kirti Kapoor. Her question is: Are there any specific underlying health conditions that could be contributing to my hair loss? Though it looks like a vague question because she has not specified anything, but still, because initially you were saying there are n number of you know causes responsible for hair loss. Would you like to uh, comment on her question? Uh, uh, she herself can see if she is a vegetarian, she can get her vitamin B twelve tested uh, done. uh most of the times vegetarians have vitamin b12 deficiency vitamin d deficiency she can get her vitamin d test done if uh, if she is losing lots of blood in her periods okay uh, or her periods are lasting more than 5 days per 5 uh, uh, days per month that means she can have iron deficiency also she can get serum ferritin levels done which basically reflect the iron stores in the body sometimes the hemoglobin is normal but serum ferritin levels are low and it is important to uh, make sure that the serum ferritin levels last more, should be more than 40 nanogram per deciliter uh, uh, uh after 14 matlab the levels of uh, serum ferritin should be more than 40 nanogram per liter if it is less than that you should start iron therapy okay apart from that if we if she is having low mood she is uh, gaining weight she is having dry skin she is having constipation okay that suggests she can have uh, hypothyroidism so she can get her tsh levels done and uh, if she suddenly losing her hair for the past 6 months she has to she must see if there is any sort of stress in her body or any sort of mental or physical stress any surgery any fever uh, mm -hmm. that can contribute to her hair loss okay so uh tina bhargav is here and her question is regarding hair care routine we all mm -hmm. are so uh, you know confused about it because we know there are n number of products in the market but, but but what are the basics that we should go for uh as hair care routine okay so hair care routine basically starts from the early morning i do not uh, normally recommend overnight oiling you have to basically apply oil on the length of the hair okay do not over massage you can apply oil on the scalp also but do not over massage it and after 30 minutes of your uh, uh, oiling the scalp you should wash your scalp wash the scalp with normal lukewarm water or not cold water do not go for hot water okay now dilute your shampoo okay slight dilution is important because uh, concentrated shampoo can irritate your scalp uh, dilute your shampoo you should not go go for sulfate uh, free shampoo Until unless you have got any chemical styling done or your scalp is too much uh, frizzy, okay, uh, you should go a sulfated shampoo only. Okay, sulfate-free shampoo is not a good cleanser. Okay, uh, apply that shampoo for one to two minutes, then wash your scalp. Okay, rinse all the all of the water from your scalp. You can use a uh, microfiber towel. Okay, just do not rub the towel. Uh, just wipe the uh, water out. Okay, then apply the conditioner on your length of the hair. shampoo to be applied on the scalp of the hair conditioner to be applied on the length of their uh, leave the uh, uh, conditioner i've seen many uh, uh, many patients basically apply the conditioner only for 30 seconds no leave it for 1 to 2 minutes or 5 minutes okay and then 
wash your uh, hair then when your hair is towel dried then only you should uh, comb the hair apply a after leave on conditioner or serum leave on serum or whatever serum that are available in the market all are same nothing is much new in that okay you should apply that uh, serum and then comb the hair okay and you should wash your scalp thrice a week okay if your scalp is super dry or frizzy kind of thing then you should use a mask or hair leave on mask uh, once a week okay i think i'm right right and with your reply there comes another question from atul sharma can we use oil every day uh uh i do not normally recommend oiling every day okay you should apply oiling uh, you should apply oil to your scalp or hair uh, 30 minutes before your head wash if you are washing your scalp thrice a week then you should apply oil uh, thrice a week only in the morning okay okay and doctor before we wrap up uh, any take home message for our viewers any do's and don'ts mm. i think i have covered many of the part in my uh, topics only but uh, uh, we can discuss about blow drying okay do not blow yes. uh, over blow dry your hair okay do not over heat style chemical style your hair if you are doing blow drying your hair you should be doing on a cooler mode okay you if you have a curly hair then you should be using diffuser for the same and if you have a uh, normal hair or straight hair then you should be using concentrator for the same okay uh, apart from this uh, get a proper diet Nutri I, i have uh, totally i think in this uh, whole talk i have basically focused on diet okay yes. if you are uh, if you want to lose your weight you should not restrict your calories matlab you should definitely take 1300 calories per day okay otherwise uh, this uh, weight loss will lead to hair loss okay so definitely you need to take 1300 calories per day okay uh, day, take diet, if you are a vegetarian take diet rich in vitamin b12 vitamin d okay iron iron is important for females one third of the females or i can say half of the females have serum ferritin low, less than 50 as i told okay so you have to improve your iron intake you can take an iron tablet it will not ca cause harm harm you in any way it can slightly lead to uh, pain abdomen or nausea slightly okay that will improve with time and it can lead to black stool okay M many of the times patient basically get frightened or scared that i am getting uh, black stool or black uh, okay black toilet that is very common with the uh, iron okay so you should definitely take iron in your diet okay oiling shampoos conditioners will not lead to any sort of hair growth okay so do not waste your do not watch instagram stories and instagram reels and uh, keep on buying these products these will not lead to hair uh, growth okay biotin mm -hmm. supplements nothing okay so these will not help uh, see there are many products which are available in the market but we need to see the ingredients okay biotin does not leads to hair improvement in all the cases okay mm -hmm. and uh, the, um, there are many companies i will not name the companies they are uh, online promoting that you take our kits and you uh, you your hair loss will improve that will not occur okay you should consult a dermatologist ask uh, people are wasting thousands of money just buying these kits and they are not getting any response okay so right. all this is social marketing hacks which are basically uh i i think i'm audible yes yes you are ha uh, all these are uh, scams which are basically to loot you people okay so be aware at all se jago grahak jago that is important <laughs> <laughs> right good way to conclude the whole session thank you so very much dr meghna gupta it was wonderful talking to you thank you for thank all you the so info much. and for all the trivia regarding the uh, you know market gimmick as well thank you so very much it was a pleasure talking thank you so much and viewers thank you for your active participation stay happy stay healthy stay spotless and stay connected with us goodbye good day